What's up guys, my name is Seth, you're watching Petro360. In the last episode of the 1966 F100 project, we were working on the body, trying to get the body and the frame straightened out because that's our base. You know, We need to get those sorted before we can work on anything else in the truck. So we've got those things pretty much lined up, but now it's time to actually get to the real work and we're going to be working underneath the hood. So one big goal for this project is a really clean engine bay. The six cylinder is not a very common engine. Most of the time people, you know, swap those out for V8s, but I'm planning on keeping the straight six. So I want, you know, the presentation of opening the hood and seeing a different engine to be super nice underneath the hood. And we have a uh, sponsor coming up in another episode and, you know, they've got something that's going to go underneath the hood and we want to make it look right at home. So this episode I'm going to be tearing art um, the whole front of the engine. Um, getting a lot of stuff powder coated that are going to sit on the front of the engine and we're going to paint the entire engine bay So the inner fenders and the firewall and everything to make the motor look really nice and pop out at you whenever you see the hood open All right guys well I did go ahead and pull the alternator out and got it sitting here next to the 3G alternator um, I actually don't remember what year model this one was for. I think it was a, um, a Ford Taurus, but it matches up pretty much perfectly with this. We got same distance between the two. The only difference is this ear is a metric thread, whereas this one is, I think, a, a regular standard thread. So I'm probably going to tap this one out because I think it's a little bit larger. And since this one is adjusted uh, via this and tensioned, um, I want as much grab as I can get on that. But I also think I'm going to powder coat the body of this one. With this being raw aluminum, you get any fingerprints on it and it's going to look dirty. Whereas if this was painted or powder coated or something like that, it should stay clean and be really easy to clean up. But um, that's the first thing I want to do just to verify this, uh, this alternator will fit where this one does. Alright guys, well I think that's what I'm going to call it tonight. I pretty much got uh, all of the motor stuff taken apart. So obviously radiator out, got the water pump. The power steering pump bracketry, I left the, um, the power steering pump itself so I don't have to undo all those lines. And I pulled the alternator on this side. Now I have all kinds of room to get in here and prep and paint everything. Tomorrow I'm gonna start pulling the wiring. So start a relay, all the wires that run back here. I'm gonna pull the master cylinder away from the wall or the firewall and um, bring these wires away and just try to clear up everything. And then I'll go ahead and start scuffing and then mask everything off. I am going to paint this in the garage. I would much rather not paint it in the garage, but with the weather and everything and it not running, it's just much easier to do it. So I'll try and be as uh, clean as I can. But um, the other thing is I did uh, take the alternator apart like I said I was going to. The only part you can't paint is this center ring. This is where the... Uh, a lot of the wires come through on the stator. You can take this apart, but it's just not worth it for me. And I've got a little pile of parts here, and I'm going to take over and um, get powder coated. So I think I'm going to do everything black. I do want to do this gray, but I think I can fit all this in the oven at one time. If I can, it's going to go black. And there you go. So got that powder coated last night. Turned out pretty good. Again, the only reason I really powder coated it was because I I hate getting these things greasy, anything that's raw aluminum and black was what I was using anyway. So ended up black. I'd much rather gone with gray or something like that, but oh well. And today I have started here on the engine bay. So obviously you can see the green. I didn't have any primer, um, any high build gray primer. So I used what I had. I'm gonna be using an enamel um, across the whole engine bay and I had a spray can of enamel. So I scuffed these with 220 and got 
pretty smooth. As you can see, I still have some texture in there. But um, what I'm gonna be doing now is wet sanding these with 400, and then I'm gonna scuff the firewall this afternoon, and then hopefully maybe start prepping for paint. Probably will end up having to finish prepping for paint tomorrow, and um, hopefully tomorrow night I can spray all this and get going. So that's uh, that's the update right now. I'm about to get into it and get uh, greasy and nasty and covered with dust. So I'm going to take the camera back inside and um, get to it. All right, guys, it is the next day, and I am just about ready to spray. So. Got everything uh, wet standard with 220, then 400. I did uh, scuff the firewall. I wasn't worried about getting it as smooth, but it is ready to go now. Um, I do have another piece outside. I've got a fan shroud for my dad's 64. I'm going to go ahead and knock that out black while I'm doing all this. So what I've got to do right now is uh, hit all this with wax and grease remover um, two times. And then what I'm going to do is wet the garage floor somewhat for keeping dust down but the other part is uh, if the floor is wet the overspray doesn't stick to it very well so that way it's a little bit cleaner and then once I get done spraying outside I've got uh, my top window open there I've got a couple fans in the back here I'm going to drop this uh, garage door down and let the fans draft out that way as much as I can that way it's not going near my tools and everything, and I've got my toolboxes covered up because I don't want those to get black. But um, yeah, I'm not gonna shoot a video of me spraying because it's gonna be a mess and everything, and I really don't want the camera here, but here we go. Hopefully I'll have a uh, good reveal for you. All right guys, well, here you go. Um, it's gloss black. <laughs> I actually did not mean to paint the engine bay gloss black. When I went to go paint, I had everything ready to go. I went through my cabinet and it turns out I did not have satin black. I would have much rather gone with satin black, but gloss black is what I had. And to be honest with you, I thought, okay, well, I'll give this a shot. And if I don't like the way that it looks, I'll wet sand it, get it smooth again, get it roughed up and shoot another coat. But I don't know, I'm kind of torn on it. Um, I'm probably gonna sleep on it tonight on whether I do anything else. It looks good. There's some stuff that I'm gonna do with the motor to dress it up, um, as well as all the front accessories. When they go on, they're gonna look nice and neat. So I don't know, I'm kind of on the fence on it, but uh, hopefully you guys like it. And here in just a second, you'll uh, see my final decision. So I actually decided to keep with the gloss black underneath the hood. So. I'm really trying to make the engine bay pop for this. Like I said, the straight six is not a common engine to have under the hood of these. Most people swap them out for V8s, which is perfectly fine, but I want this truck to be different. And gloss black with that engine and some of the other stuff that's gonna be going under the hood is really gonna look good and clean to me. So, like I said, we have a sponsor coming up. They've got some parts that are gonna go underneath the hood. We're trying to make a good haul for those. So I've got, I think, one more episode of doing some more stuff under the hood. And then we're going to jump in and um, see what our sponsor has and show you what kind of stuff they have for the project. But thanks for watching, guys. Hey, I'm really far behind you know, getting these videos out to you guys. If you want to stay up to date, make sure to go follow me on Instagram. I post up stuff there all the time. You're going to see the truck how it is right now. It's very different from where it was in this video. So we've got a lot of work done, 
And um, you know, please go check me out over there. And I'm starting up a website now. You can go online, go to petro360.co. I try to do um, some short stories on the builds and some different stuff I have going on. I used to do a little bit of writing and I'm trying to get back into that. So go check that out. Find me on Instagram, likes on Facebook and all the other stuff. I'd really appreciate it and we'll see you guys next time.